Welcome to Variant, where we love comics more than I can't wait for the live-action Teen Titans series. I'm your host, Eris Quinones. For a long time now, many of you have been asking for a History of Teen Titans episode. Well, that's not what this is, but we will eventually get to it. As I've mentioned before, we're going to do that episode around the release of the live-action Titans series. In the meantime, however, I figured why not give you guys the origin of one of the team's most beloved members, Raven. This is a dream come true. Raven was created by Marv Wolfman and George Perez, and first appeared in DC Comics Presents in issue 26 in 1980. But we didn't get her origin until a while later where we meet her mother Aurella, who was young and rebellious and just wanted to be loved. A recipe that led to her being manipulated into joining a cult. But what she didn't know is that the cult was trying to bring the devil to Earth. Of course they are. What else would any self-respecting cult do? Well, in this case, they succeeded. Kinda. Instead of conjuring Satan himself, they conjured the demon Trigon. Apparently, the devil wasn't available. Regardless, disguised as a man, Trigon took Arella as his bride and turned on that devilish charm. Pun intended. Anyway, Trigon ended up doing the horizontal nasty with Arella, and when the deed was done, he revealed his true self. Red skin, four eyeballs, and all. Needless to say, she wasn't too thrilled. She literally says, My lover, the one whom I thought was like some god sent down to earth to save me, turned out to be evil incarnate. And that he was. Well, after doing the devil's disco and impregnating Aurella, Trigon just tossed her to the side like some useless rag, as Aurella put it, and proceeded to kill all the other cult members. Because he's a demon. What did you think was gonna happen? Trigon then waited for the day when his offspring could join him at his side and it didn't take long for the baby to start taking shape and grow. But Arella became suicidal at the thought of having a demon's child. However, when she tried to take her own life, a messenger from the goddess Azar stopped her and brought her to Azerath, which is a city in another dimension. There, she was able to start a new life, safe from Trigon. Before long, Arella went into labor and delivered her half-demon child, but giving birth to a hybrid child took a serious toll. I mean, it seems reasonable that if normal labor is excruciating, giving birth to a demon is hell. Boom, got him again. In the comic, we actually see Arella in so much pain during labor that she starts screaming, please, please, kill me. I'm sure it brought a whole new meaning to the birth term Ring of Fire. Man, the hits keep coming. I'm not listening to you, you're crazy. Whatever, if you don't know what that is, just Google it. Anyway, just like that, Raven was born. And it was here on Azeroth where Raven grew up and Azar taught her quite a bit about controlling her emotions. The reason for the training was to give her enough control to combat the influence of Trigon on Earth as Raven's demonic powers would otherwise aid in his ability to conquer the planet. When Azar eventually died, Raven discovered for the very first time that her father was the demon Trigon, and that she was in fact half-demon. Shortly after that, she met her father face to face for the first time. He wanted her to go with him, but she refused. She says, go with you, go with you father, no, I sense evil, terrible evil in you, I sense death, cruel heartless murder. No, you might be my father, but I could never stand by you. I have been born of peace, you wallow in destruction. Because of this, she left Azeroth and fled to Earth. Ultimately, she didn't want to be like her father. She instead wanted to use her powers for good. So she tried joining the Justice League of America, but that didn't work out. Instead, she joined the new Teen Titans. Now that's how she came to be and why she joined the Teen Titans. But this isn't a History Of episode, so I'm not going to get into much more detail about her in this episode. However, I'll briefly go over our power set. Raven is first and foremost an empath. What this means is that she can sense and also alter the emotions of others. She also possesses her soul self, which allows her to form an astral projection of solid black energy that's in the shape of a bird. Using her soul self, she can carry and teleport herself and others to different places. Raven has also displayed the ability to control and use magic, and possesses chronokinesis, which means she can manipulate time. So not only can she perceive events outside the confines of the normal space-time continuum, she can also time travel. And let's not forget she could fly. There's more, but you guys get the point. Now, since we covered some powers and abilities, I guess I might as well leave you guys with a couple reading recommendations before I wrap this up. So check out the new Teen Titans series, Teen Titans Raven Rising, DC Special Raven, and Tales of the New Teen Titans Raven Issue 2. And if you guys want us to do more episodes like this with other Teen Titans members, let us know in the comment section down below. But that brings this episode to a close, but remember you can follow us on social media like Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and on our website. All the links for that are in the description below. Also, be sure to subscribe and then hit the bell next to it so you're notified whenever we upload a new video. But I'll see you guys next time when I talk about all things comics.